Halal? Uh, no. Then the Muslim? Uh, they eat chicken. Fried chicken. After had enough rest in my rented Airbnb, I had decided to roam around Gotong Jaya town. There is an easy access walkway at the lower ground level where apartment residents can walk up to the nearby shop lots via uphill road. It requires some andrelline pump especially from the weak hearted due to the condition of the steep road. Gotong Jaya town being located in Genting Highlands, Malaysia, experiences a cooler climate compared to the surrounding lowland areas. It is named after the late Tan Sri Lim Gotong, the founder of Genting Group, who developed Genting Highlands into a popular tourist destination. Gotong Jaya serves as a residential and commercial area that caters to both locals and tourists visiting Genting Highlands. It offers a range of amenities, including shops, restaurants, cafes, at convenience stores, and other commercial establishments, such as laundry shops, car workshop, and hardware shops, while there is only one petrol station available. Within Gotong Jaya, you can find various shops and businesses, including grocery stores, pharmacies, eateries, and other retail outlets. Additionally, there are residential properties, apartments, and condominiums in the area. For those who are surveying to invest properties in this area, do follow up this video closely as I am going to provide information on what are the facilities available in this town, visually. Also, my personal opinion whether this is going to be a wise investment for you. There are many eateries in Gotong Jaya including roadside stalls such as burger stall like this and melee local snacks such as fish crackers and banana fritters. There are also few outdoor and indoor food courts which located another side of the street but now let me show you around what we can see along these shop rows. There are few budget hotels available at this area with ample parking lots. There are at least two car workshops and two laundry shops as well as hardware shops. This tiny town accommodates many restaurants, apartments, housing areas, and Genting Indy International College. The prices of the food are lower compared to if you are at the Genting Highlands where the price is not going to be cheap at most of the eateries. However, cheaper do not meant to be equal amount of prices of the lowland. As this highland is mainly developed for tourism and entertainment purposes, thus all the food supplies have to be transported all the way from Klang Valley or neighbor towns such as Kapong and Badong Kali. So don't get shocking when you receive the bills, better have a check carefully before ordering otherwise it's going to cause a hole in your pocket. Fortunately, there are many Chinese and Malay restaurants as well as stalls available. You just need to spend extra time and effort to survey around. Just a reminder not to argue anything with you feel these prices are ridiculous. You need to constantly reminding yourself that you are currently in a tourist hill station. That's happened to me whenever I foot those bills with heavy heart. Otherwise, frayed not. There are also at least 8 grocery stores, 24 hours convenience stores such as 7-11 and KK Mart as well as 99 Speed Mart which is popular for its cheap bargain. For those Muslim members whom looking for halal Chinese food option, this restaurant will be a great choice for you. I did not try this time as I am craving for really spicy authentic Indian food. But so far I had seen only two Indian Muslim restaurants which I don't feel quite authentic. This row of shop lots area not really happening and really quiet at night. Let's go to another side which is exactly behind the petrol station.
There are many Chinese seafood restaurants along this row of shop lots as well as nearby food court. However, as I am reminding you again, check the price before place order. I would not say very expensive, but taking the cost of the expensive supply chains, it may sound reasonable for some. When you found this signboard in any part of Malaysia, you should feel delightful. At least cheaper by few cents for each product. But imagine if you are going to stay here for next few days, then here is really a good bargain. Ha 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 ha, I felt tickled when seeing this signboard. Hard to imagine those desperate faces after visiting the casinos. Wait, I never criticize anyone for gambling up there but sadly there are many suicide cases reported every year. Just take it for fun entertainment, not a place to generate income. However you are at your own risk. I used to play small amount in the past, sometimes one but mostly lost a few hundreds. Then I had changed my mentality to see it as an emotional game, and I declined to get emotionally blackmailed. Nowadays I will go to the casinos just to have some free hot beverages and enjoy seeing people playing those slot machines until they lose. Then telling myself that my life is already a gamble. This is not necessary. There are more and more new residential projects coming up. More jungles to get demolish. But think it from another way around. There is a necessity to demolish and open a new ground for economically and community development. Most of the luxury apartments and condominiums nowadays are open for vacation stays. Malaysia has a tropical climate characterized by high humidity and relatively high temperatures throughout the year. While there are limited hill stations available in the peninsula Malaysia, however except Genting Highlands which is well constructed for easy access. Other hill stations such as Cameron Highlands, Fraser Hills, Maxwell Hills even Penang Hills always facing certain level of difficulties and risk especially time-consuming and challenging driving experience. Genting Highlands Resort and its surrounding township can be reached within an hour drive from Kuala Lumpur city center. That's very convenient, especially during hot summer. Thus those affordable would plan their investment here either spending their weekend holidays here, few days in a month, then renting out the rest of the days for those visitors whom also like to experience the cooler climate. Due to its higher elevation, Genting Highlands enjoys cooler temperatures throughout the year, with average temperatures ranging between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. In the evening, the temperatures may drop further, particularly during the cooler months or during periods. This outdoor food court less crowned during the day and busier at night, especially for bikers. Often there are few motorcycles convoys making their way up to the resort for weekend gatherings or meetup, then make a stop here for a tea break. In my personal opinion, except the burger stall and drink stall that's selling relatively similar with low land, the rest of the stalls up to your justification.
This is the only petrol station in Gotong Jaya. I was told that there is an ATM machine inside the kiosk and the one and only available. The prices of the items sold in Starbucks here are slightly expensive, perhaps it could be same just that myself had been many years never dine in. The Wi-Fi signal is very very poor. Often those exhausted bikers like to take a rest here on the available couches for power nap. This is another coffee house similar to Startbuck with local brand. I did not check how is the price nor checking the menu as I am searching crazily for the one I'm craving for. There are two travel agencies available as well as one and only pub in the town. It also serves order to cook items. KK Mart is Malaysia born brand identical to 7-11. They too, running 24 hours convenience store chain. However, this is my first time seeing them ventured into food court business. There are variety of delicacies available under the roof. All these three stalls serving hail friendly food, that's sweet potatoes based, Malay food and authentic Indian. Guess it is the one and only available here. Surprisingly their prices also aren't bad, much cheaper than other competitors. Please refer to my other video pertaining my honest review for this stall. Ni dengan klepot ni ni apa beza dia? Uh, yang ni dia kari. Kalau yang ni dia memang sekali nasam, uh, nasi sekali masak. Memang India. Next, let's cover on non-halal section mostly variety of Chinese cuisines. Uh, so I put half of that. Some calling this delicacy a steamboat but widely known as lock lock, literally bit-sized food on wooden skewers. Customers just need to pick their favorable items range from pork to seafood and vegetables including soy-based products. Then hand them over to the seller to either boil or fry in a dedicated pot. Customers then may select sauces from non-spicy to moderate hot till super spicy. Freedom of customization according to individuals. There are two non-halo lock lock in Gotong Jaya. This stall is selling much cheaper price. In case you are looking for hot spicy food to spice up your tongue under this cold climate and not wish to take heavy food, may opt for this one. Guess today is Monday, that's why few stalls aren't in operation. However, visibility for you guys to know what those Chinese food that are selling here. As mentioned earlier, don't get shocked see these price tags as they are definitely much more expensive compared with low land.
Otak Odak is a Southeast Asian fish cake made of ground fish mixed with spices and wrapped in leaf parcels, mostly grilled, can be eaten solely as a snack or with steamed rice as part of a meal. It is producing moderate spiciness. Otak Odak is made by mixing fish paste with a mixture of spices, such as chili peppers, garlic, shallots, turmeric, lemongrass, and coconut milk. As mentioned earlier, the Lok Lok, also called by some as steamboat. This one, however, is Halo restricted. This is another indoor food court which is selling only Halo food, ranging from variety of local Malay cuisine to Indonesia, a yam penyak or squeezed fried chicken, a popular Javanese cuisine.
Kuti kosong apa? Dua ringgit. Telo? Empat ringgit. At first glance, seeing this Arabic alphabet's written signboard, I was initially surprised to find a halal-oriented Ba Kut Te restaurant here in Gotong Jaya. Ba Kut Te is literally translates from the Hokkien dialect as meat bone tea, and at its simplest, consists of pork ribs simmered in a broth of herbs and spices that is not permissible to consume for the Muslim faith. But to my shocking upon seeing there are a group of diners having their meal together, including two hijab-wearing ladies. Hello. Then the Muslim? Uh, they eat chicken. Fried chicken. And they are for Indonesia? Ah. Oh, okay. Okay, Indonesia is I am respecting individual religious belief. Perhaps the Islamic culture in Indonesia to some extent may be different with local practices. I had also seen similar scenario while in Cambodia. We'll cover that visual in my future videos. This another Baku Te restaurant seems authentic. Ah. Right front is the Gotong Jaya district office. Memang Miao is one of the leading chain restaurants that's selling mainly local food and westerns as well as desserts. Their signature dish are range of nasi lemak.
This Malay restaurant is catering mostly from North Malaysia halal cuisines, famous for their Thai-influenced local ingredients dishes such as tom yum soup and pineapple fried rice. Let me share visibility regarding likely how much the Chinese food price range here in Gotong Jaya. That's all I can pretty much cover for today's video pertaining commercial outlets in Gotong Jaya town, Genting Highlands. Almost late evening now, in the evening, the town become livelier, with locals and tourists mingling in the streets, visiting shops, or dining at the various restaurants and cafes in the area. The pleasant climate creates an inviting atmosphere for outdoor activities, such as sitting at an outdoor terrace sipping a hot beverage or enjoying a meal with friends or loved ones. While I can't wait to try out this authentic Indian food stall. Thanks for watching.